and what's going on youtube it's your boy joe fontaine the vip sound lab and i just wanted to answer some questions that i just got one of my vip members my man harvey Ed, was telling me um he was having problems as far as getting his vsts scanned into the machine for whatever reason he said he's scanning them and they're not showing up so if you you know went through the steps as far as going on your preferences and you added your different folder locations inside a machine and you're scanning them okay for example well on this computer I'm, I'm still importing my library from my other computer as far as getting my VSTs in but I did add my contact library so far so I'm just doing that right now so if you don't see a lot of VSTs in here right now that's mainly why we're instrument VSTs anyway um, and you're and you're rescanning them here the machine is going through the steps as far as scanning them it's going through the the proper steps so when you're looking at it you're like everything is it's flowing sequentially as it should everything should be in here but when you happen to go to your your tabs for example where it says plugins right here you might see this little funny little box so basically machine is saying I do not recognize those plugins some plugins will not recognize in whatever mode that you have machine in that's why in my last tutorial video I did I put a little note out there as far as you know I was showing the difference between 32 bit and 64 bit 64 bit will give you a lot more import options than the 32 bit mode will as well as performance I think I had another question from a comment on my last video about that um, somebody asked me can I show the difference between those modes so this would also cover your question as well um, for example this icon right here on my little my little dock down here you see it saying machine 32 bit right here this one's saying 64 bit if you touch a machine icon right here it's going to show a screen that's going to let you know what mode you're in so you have to go inside your computer watch my last video on that I'll show you how you can go in your computer and get the shortcut for your 64 bit uh, machine as as I have right here on my dock and you know just for the sake of the video you touch right here and it shows the uh, the bit mode I don't want to do that right now cause I'm, you know when I'm doing my video editing I don't feel like blurring out my serial number or whatever but it's just simply it's just clicking this machine icon I mean it's no big deal so I'm gonna close this out okay and I'm going to click on the 64 bit machine icon here and you'll notice the difference in this so I'm just gonna give this a second to load up gonna take a little minute okay now we're in the 64-bit mode and again you would just touch right here where it says machine and that's gonna let you know exactly what mode you're in right here and again just for the sake of the video uh, just to upload this a lot faster I don't feel like going through the video editing or blurring out my my serial number I did that in the last video you know so now for example when I go right here under this tab right here again when I go to plugins you notice now it's not that little funny little box there anymore you see right there I have my contact 5 the VST I have my contact 5 with the 16 ounce and also with the 18 ounce and these different VST versions these are basically for um, for more hardware outputs you know if you have a hardware device that can recognize the machine it also will recognize the inputs and the outputs of your VSTs so I hope that helps clear that up um, there's also another icon here where it says effects you can scroll down again and get more plugins. Which says plugins here. You still also have access to your other plugins here, as I have here. But you notice in here, the contact plugin is not going in alphabetical order in there. See if I if I scroll through these, it's specifically just regular VSTs. This one over here is for more instrument plugins. So again, this one here where it says plugins, these are more or less like your your, um, your regular VSTs for like mastering or whatever and you'll find your instrument plugins over in this area nine times out of ten depending on the VST but in most situations it works out that way for me so for example I wouldn't even like I don't even have to even open up contact for example like I can just go over here to my studio drummer let's say if I grab a garage kit light I take this now when I drag it down to the sound down there, it's going to, um, you're going to drop it on the sound. On the group, it will not drop on the group. As you see right here, how it's blocking me off, it will not let me put 
you know, in a group, you have to drop them on the sound. See how it's lighting up? I can go through any sound. You see right there, I'm scrolling through the sounds. And I go up, I'll drop it on the first sound. And we just got to give that a second to load because Studio Drummer is like pretty big. And there it goes. Okay. So now the Studio Drummer comes up, but see right here, default to saying contact because that's a library that is inside contact. So make sure also, man, like that any um, instrument library that you have inside contact, make sure that you have that library scanned and added to contact. Um, I hope that makes sense because if you don't, contact's not going to recognize it and you're going to be trying to pull it up like it, you just won't be able to pull it up. So now when I, when I click right here, just got to give that a second. Like I said, it's a pretty big program because it's loading this plus contact. Now you see contact opens up with no problems with the studio drummer. Like I didn't even have to even touch contact. It just took me directly into the studio drummer. And it, you know, you see it already set up. And it's already loaded up. Let's see if I move this inside a little bit. And it's in there. Now, of course, I don't have my machine controller on right now, and I can fix the velocity on that. Also, or I can use my machine controller to also um, use that. But yeah, man, that's pretty much it on this little tutorial. I'm not going to run too long. Well, I guess this is not even really a tutorial. This is just information um, letting you know how to get your um, your VSTs to show up. So that's pretty much how you do that. I hope that clears up any confusion as far as not getting your VSTs to show up inside of machine. And that's pretty much it. And I'll see you on the next tutorial.